what's going on guys this is chuck it's with simply vegas realtor out here in las vegas nevada today we're going to be taking a tour out here in the city of las vegas located on the southwest valley this builder is american west and unfortunately i do not have too much information on this home and the reason why is because uh, they do not have the information at the sales office and I do not know why, but there is a temp here today. And what I'm gonna do is on the link below, I'm going to have the information that you guys will need for this property, as far as the uh, dimensions, the bedrooms and all that stuff. But I believe this model, from what I remember, is called the Sapphire. And the base price on the Sapphire was uh, 360,000. This is actually a two car garage right here, but that's the sales office. Ceilings are only eight feet tall. I love that door right there. Coming up into the main, this is a three story. Beautiful kitchen. It's got that contemporary modern look to it. You got that farmer sink. You have a one inch tile. Lights underneath. Hmm. So basically I noticed this designer has a little built in. Well, it's not really a built in. It's like a slide in for your microwave. But what happens if your microwave is bigger than that? Beautiful stove. And I like how it has a window there. Let's take a look at the quality of the cabinets. The quality of the cabinets are very loose. I would definitely have to tighten up the drawers. You have Formica with laminate, but the fronts are actually solid wood. Now I do like that feature where you actually have lights underneath the cabinets. Let's take a look at the uh, pantry here. Pantry is very small. Okay. What I do like about this builder is, um, according to the sales temp, the appliances do come with the sale of the transaction, and majority of their properties that they sell does not have. Oh man, look at all that water. Uh, sids and lids, but depending on the location. Um, it definitely will have a lot premium based upon the track, but there is a new track that they have that just came up so, uh, all three stories. It is contemporary, uh, modern, and it's called Sky View, so uh, Sky Terrace. So I'm very excited to check that product out and see what they have. Looks like we have orange peel. Ceilings are only about nine feet, nine or 10, it could be 10. Yeah, it's 10 feet. Wow, I love the fireplace. That's not a real fireplace though. Now you have two sliding doors out to the balcony. Let's see if we can actually, oops. Man, broke the gimbal. Yeah, make the adjustments now. Uh-oh. I just done broke my camera and it's locked. Oof. Whoops. Oh my God, guys. Look what I just did. I just broke this. Oh my gosh. Don't say nothing. I'm gonna just put this back. I think it was already broken anyway. We gotta get out of here. I don't wanna pay for it. Okay, so if you take a look at the flooring, the flooring is actually really nice and it is tile, that's always a plus. So coming on here, um, looks like it's, oh, I was gonna say it's a bedroom, but it's not, it's actually upstairs. So we have a half bath, okay? This is actually a public restroom because this is the model home for the, with the sales office. You also have a closet space, utility room, coat closet, not that big. Let's go up to the third floor. Now, the only thing I don't like about three stories is that 
to go to your front door, you walk up a couple flight of stairs to get to a landing. Then from there, you can make the transition to go to the second floor or downstairs to the first floor. But normally on a three story, I like it when the bottom has one whole complete living area as far as the living room, um, massive bedroom. And the reason why, also a kitchenette. And the reason why is because if you have, you know, family or you want to entertain, you can keep them downstairs. So that way they never have to come upstairs. But if they want to go to the main, that's fine. But then you have all your uh, bedrooms on the third floor. Okay. Closet space looks to be about 10 by 10. As you can see right there is your attic access. Room's probably 20 by 15, not that huge. HOAs around here are about $15 a month. Also, uh, there's one thing I wanna talk about is that a lot of people have been asking me, Chuck, where do I actually get started when actually buying a new home? So the first thing that you would actually do is number one, find out what you're actually approved for and or if you're paying cash, what is it that you're willing to spend, right? So let's just say you're at the 700,000 mark. That tells me that we probably need to be looking around homes around 500,000 or 550, okay? And here's why, I'm gonna explain it, okay? So once we figure that out, the next step is, let's take a look at all the communities throughout the Las Vegas Valley, because location is a big deal. Then from there, let's figure out what builder you like, then what style, what model home that you like, okay? Now we're gonna get into depth. Now from there, once you pick the, the model, the style of home that you like, we are going to do a breakdown of how much is it gonna cost you, okay? So the next step would be to Pick the model, that's gonna give us the base price. Then once we have the base price, then the next step would be structural items. Now what I mean by structural items is, let's just say this is a French door, but the standard comes with a single door, this may cost you $3,000 more just to put a French door, okay? So you can move some things around based upon the design of the home and what the builder is offering you. So now you have the cost of the base price, the structural of the home then the third thing would be picking your lot some lots may actually have a lot premium okay could run you zero dollars I seen some premium lots at 1.5 million dollars so now once you figure out what lot you're getting and what they have and you're buying that lot premium the third uh, the fourth thing from there would actually be you want to create a wish list. Now, consumer will spend anywhere from $10,000 towards the structure, I'm sorry, 10% towards the structure, and also another 10% towards the option. So now what you're gonna do is pick your options. So you're gonna pick everything that you want on your wish list on a home. Now, once that is done, then we'll calculate the numbers. So now that we calculate the numbers, let's just say your budget was at 700, now we're at 725. So the next step from there, would we would actually start minusing the stuff that really doesn't mean that much to you until we get it down to the 700,000. Now once we get it down to the 700,000, the next thing is that we need to figure out what is the value of the properties around this area, what they're selling for. If it's only selling for 690, that means you would have to come up with additional 10 grand because now by deducting deducting all the items that you wanted, now we're at 700,000, then you have an appraisal done to the property, it's only at 690. You can come up with the additional 10 and you can make that decision then, 
right? Because you have 700,000. Or if you want to deduct some more items. But normally the next step from there, I would actually ask, what are the incentives? Because if we have the incentives, then we would use that money towards the upgrades, okay? So that's kind of where you really want to start with everything, okay? And that's why it's very important to really work with a realtor that understands new homes. And that's where you're going to get a value. And I get this question asked all the time. Could I buy a new home by myself or actually use a realtor? Number one, it doesn't cost you any money to uh, hire a realtor. It's free, actually. The commission is actually getting paid from the developer. And keep in mind, that sales agent that is across from you and you're signing paperwork, they're going to disclose. We 100% represent the developer and we have their best interests and we don't have your best interests. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you're not paying anything, okay? But... You need to see what the value is in a realtor and how can they actually help you out. Because sometimes you think you may be getting a great deal, you get so emotionally involved, you just want the home. And I see this time and time again. And what happens is if you don't understand how real estate works, they'll get you on the back end. And that's why you have to take a look at the settlement statement. It is so important. So guys, that's all I got for today. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.